Welcome to the indefinite integrals video tutorial. All four of these examples deal with very similar problems, but each shows you how to solve them using a different method. Example one, using the context menu, determine an indefinite integral of the function f at x equals x plus one. Step one asks us to write the function in math mode. Make sure you're in math mode and begin writing the function f at x equals x plus 1. And now step 2 asks us to go to the context menu and go to your right hand side to obtain the right hand side of the equation. And now by going to context menu again we can integrate with respect to x. And there we have it, an in indefinite integral of the function is a half x squared plus x. Example 2. Using the expression palette, determine an indefinite integral of the function f at x equals x squared plus x. Step 1. Use the function template in the expression palette to enter f at x. So here's the expression palette here on the left. And here is the function template right here. Just click on that, and the letter that is highlighted represents a function. So press F, because we're dealing with a function F. Press tab to go to the right. The function is in terms of X. Press tab again to go to the right. And the function itself is equal to X squared plus X. Enter. Now step two, using the indefinite integral template in the expression palette, write the required integral and evalu evaluate it by pressing the enter sign. So let's go to the indefinite integral template. Let's click on that. And the letter that is highlighted stands for the function. Type in f at x. Press tab again. And we want to integrate with respect to x and hit enter. And the indefinite integral of the function x squared plus x is a third x cubed plus a half x squared. Example three, using the integration methods tutor, determine an indefinite integral of the function f at x equals three x plus one. Step one, load the package student calculus one. And this can be done by going to Tools, Load Package, Student Calculus 1. By going on the line below. Step 2. Write the function in math mode. Just make sure you're in math mode by clicking on this math symbol over here. And continue writing the function. f at x equals 3 times x plus 1. Step 3. Using the context menu, select right hand side. So go to right hand side to obtain the right hand side of the equation. Step four, using the context menu again, go to tutors, calculus single variable, and integration methods. And the integration methods tutor pops up with our function f at x equals 3x plus 1 as the integrand. Step 5, you can go to all steps and Maple will give you the answer right away with all the steps included. Alternatively, you can repeatedly click next step noting the rule Maple applied. So let's go to next step. And you can see over here that the sum rule has been applied. In other words, the integral the integral has been distributed over the integrand and so forth. Just click on all steps and there's our final answer. An indefinite integral of this function 3x plus 1 is 3 over 2x squared plus x. We can highlight this, press control C to copy, press close. Maple gives you the final answer and by going on the line below just paste the output, click on yes, and those are all the steps involved in the integration. 
Example 4. Using the integration methods tutor, evaluate the indefinite integral of the function f at x equals 1 plus x squared. Step 1. Fill in the fields of the indefinite integral template from the expression palette. The expression palette is over here to the left, and here is the indefinite integral template. Click on it. Now the letter that is re highlighted represents the function. Type in the right-hand side of the function, which is 1 plus x squared. Press tab to go to the right. And now what is highlighted represents the vari variable with which we are integrating with respect to. So type in x. Step 2. Using the context menu, go to 2D math, convert to inert form. So let's open up the context menu. Go down to 2D math convert to and inert form. Step three, using the context menu again, go to tutors, calculus single variable, and integration methods. Now the integration methods tutor pops up. And the last step is simply to click on all steps, which is right here, and Maple executes each step of the integration and gives us the answer as x plus a third x cubed as the indefinite integral of the function. Press close and Maple outputs the answer as well. Thank you for viewing the indefinite integrals video tutorial provided by the Maple Student Adoption Program.